Good morning, YouTube fans. Welcome aboard, new subscribers. These are the three Light Me battery powered LED lamps. They come with a solar panel for each one, 12 foot cord with the mini connector, and I have been using them off and on for the past few days to get an idea of how long each charge lasts. And uh, it seems to be a pretty good product. The only problem I have with it is that when you're doing the charging process and you see that the light's lit indicating a charge is taking, the LED does not extinguish when the battery has reached its full capacity. So that means that you don't know when the battery is completely, the battery underneath here is completely charged. So going by the by the brightness of the indicator, you could see that the actual current flow is adequate enough to light the light as well as put power onto the battery. Now, it does have the venting process, so it's not waterproof. Also, this allows any heat buildup to be dissipated through the little small pores. The 12 LEDs are pretty doggone bright. Uh, I do. I will include in this video a, uh, a, a short video of how these three lights will light one room enough where you could read a newspaper or a book or whatever you got to to gander at. What I also like about these guys are you could use them as a carry as a carry to go from point A to point B as a flashlight, spotlight. Uh, they don't have a very long throw, but they can be used for local lighting in your area. Other like other reason why I like them is I have a room that's not very big, and I can use one of these to just not <laughs> make it where I'm sitting in pitch black uh, dark. I do have one of these devices that I have that is an actual uh, lithium-ion battery in the back, a circuit card, the connectors for your um, charging and discharging, a small LED lamp here for being able to see around if you're using it as a flashlight or you're out camping and you want to use something see something that you're using. The only problem I don't like with this guy here is the fact that you can't leave it in this direct sunlight for an extended period of time because what happens with the bat the battery inside it'll eventually get gassy and you'll break the device. Um, the last one I had, I disassembled it and used it uh, for other options. Uh, what's nice about this also, if I can get this light to go off, is the fact that you can get it wet. You can take it out in a backpack, carry it with a piton, or well, not piton, but a uh, capture device and walk around with it. So it can be, uh, it, it's almost full capacity on its charge. It will charge all three of these lamps separately, <clears throat> which is nice. And what's nice about the battery inside here, it's a cell phone battery, so you can put this on a five-minute charge and get about three hours of light. So you don't have to always have it peaked. Also, uh, the battery inside the device does have a voltage protection cutoff, and it will actually shut down the lamp if it's over-discharged. It will take a, it will take a charge at any time. Uh, this cable here, I found some uh, that I might purchase that are a little bit longer for other applications. I am looking for a source where I can find uh, this type of uh, this type of plug come this type of plug situation with. I'm looking for 10 or 12 foot lengths that are molded, so I don't have to worry about soldering and all that nastiness that goes with it. Uh, that way I could have my charging source farther away from the lamp. But it, since it is wireless, so to speak, I can use it to hang it from someplace. Now, this is meant mostly for camping or uh, a shed or someplace where you don't have permanent lighting. And you don't want to have permanent lighting because of building restrictions or certain city codes. Uh, this this has no... If a code inspector walked in and saw this, he'd probably ask you where you got it and buy some for himself. I don't recommend banging it around. It's not something that's fragile, but uh, you don't want to put it in the hands of a child and 
let them throw it around. I wouldn't use it as a tossing toy or anything like that because once you uh, damage it, it's not going to be any good, and then you end up throwing it away and wasting your money. Uh, these were only ten dollars uh, free shipping, and I got three of them. Uh, the little solar rays I've not yet experimented with uh, because I just haven't. <clears throat> I'll get around to it, you know. Round to it is somewhere on that list. The uh, the nice thing about these guys that I really like is the inexpensiveness of them. Uh, plus, uh, they're they're uh, I, I've been looking for the different versions, and now they're with little remote controls. The LEDs have different color LEDs. So they have multiple colors you can do. Uh, you could turn them off and on from remote location. I'm not paying thirty dollars for one of them. That's just not going to happen. My source where I have these, I had gotten these from, has uh, emptied out of them, and now I'm continuously looking for uh, another buttload of them so I could buy some more because I'd really like to have about a dozen of them. Uh, I, only because I probably trade them, uh, put them on the, uh, put them on my my uh, eBay site and sell them for a couple bucks profit and then move on at least be able to help people out uh i can't really give you the link to where i got these now because like i said the guy doesn't have them anymore he's all sold out these were the last ones what's cool about these also is the battery that's in this guy here i could leave this for three years and not worry about it depleting these guys here are the same way i don't have to worry about depleting them over time because uh, the battery style is meant to hold that charge for a very very long time what you don't want to do is uh deplete them completely because the voltage protection circuits built into the batteries themselves are idiot proof they keep the idiot from over discharging the battery and ruining them which is also good there are no indications of it going bad other than it won't take a charge or the LEDs burned out, which these LEDs today and in today's technology are over 100,000 hours per LED. And that's continuous lighting. So if you have one of these on for 100,000 hours, you may get one failure of the individual LED bulbs, uh, actually LED lights. It's a circuitry. They only take about 0.7 volts of direct current to uh, cause the lighting effect. But, uh, again, you find the brightest ones are higher voltage, but you can't have too much voltage because you'll oversaturate the, the diode and burn it out. And in saying that, folks, we're going to let you go and let you go out there and enjoy the rest of your day instead of sitting here listening to me talk. So, Admiral Preparedness here. Take care, folks.